this is the top view of the propeller the blades are still in the fabrication each blade will come like this and the second blade will come like this like that all blades this blade will come like that this is the wind direction sensor whenever there is a change in wind the propeller is rotating and aligning to that particular wind direction in this case the wind is coming in this direction and this is pointing to the to the wind and uh, the wind will push the propeller blades and it will rotate like this freely and whenever there is a change in wind direction say for example it goes like this then the wind will so let's turn 90 degrees and the wind will push in this direction and all the blades will be aligned accordingly. Now the wind will push in this direction. This is the wind speed uh, sensor. Actually, the output of this will be connected to this. This is only for emulation. When the wind is in the green region, uh, in the operating region, uh, the propeller will always uh, face uh, the wind direction as soon as the, the wind speed goes beyond certain into the, the orange or yellow range then this will start feathering the blades will start feathering away and start turning to 90 degrees and by the time it reaches the maximum loud wind speed now the feathering has happened and now now the blades are, this is the wind direction and the blades are facing in the direction of wind in order to reduce the, the resistance at high wind speeds. And this goes beyond certain speed limit and it goes into the red zone and this is the hold function which will stop, it will not allow the propeller to rotate and this is a hold function which is built into this. Now when the wind speed reduces, then the feathering, anti-feathering will happen and it comes to the green zone and uh, when the wind comes and it starts rotating normally. 